Hello there, I'm Sean Grizzly, and welcome to the uh, F-Sharp training course. In this course, uh, we're going to be looking at uh, F-Sharp as a functional programming language, uh, what F-Sharp has to offer for us, and um, various techniques on how uh, F-Sharp differs from uh, other programming languages like C-Sharp, VB, and C++, etc. Uh, we'll also be looking at uh, the new features that uh, F-Sharp provides for us, uh, some unique concepts uh, such as tuples and uh, things which have come across from uh, a more mathematics background rather than a programming background, and how we can use these techniques to aid our development and experience uh, the functional programming uh, paradigm within F-Sharp. So uh, quite recently, uh, F# -sharp has been announced uh, as uh, a CTP release. Uh, therefore, Microsoft are making this uh, fully supported by the .NET framework over time. And uh, just this se uh, September, recently, um, we have uh, had this made available for us, uh, and we can integrate this into Visual Studio. Um, or Visual Studio Express, whichever environment you have installed. Now, um, F# -sharp is a multi-paradigm programming language, is uh, targeting the .NET framework. Uh, it encompasses functional programming as well as imperative, object-oriented programming disciplines. Now, a pro programming paradigm is just a way of structuring code. Uh, if you're familiar with OO before, you might uh, find this uh, introduction uh, quite second nature. But uh, it's the way in which we program. It's more like a, more like a recipe. If you decide to cook something, there's a number of ways of cooking something to achieve the same result. This is really what a paradigm is in programming. Uh, we use object orientated, which uh, when we develop, we build upon objects. Uh, in functional programming, we use really just functions to support and uh, build our solution. And it, to the user, it can look and interact the same. It's just the internal mechanism is uh, very different. So in computer science, functional programming uh, is a programming paradigm uh, that treats computation as the evaluation of mathematical functions and avoids state and mutable data. It emphasizes the application of functions in contrast with the imperative programming style which emphasizes changes in state. Uh, we will talk about mutable uh, values in this course and uh, why functional programming offers uh, the choice of having these mutable values not by default. So, a little bit of history on F Sharp. Uh, it was uh, initially developed by Don Sim at uh, Microsoft Research, but now it's being developed at uh, Microsoft Developer Division and will be distributed as previously discussed with the later versions of the .NET framework. F Sharp is a strongly typed language that uses type interface. As a result, data types do not need to uh, be explicitly declared by the programmer. They will be uh, deduced by the compiler during comp uh, compilation. If you've used other languages such as VB, you might have said something like dim value as integer. Or C sharp, for example, you might have int value equals 5. All this really means in F sharp is that the compiler is quite intelligent. Um, if you specify a value equals 5, uh, it will automatically assume this is an integer. It uh, really handles a lot of work off the developer and also reduces the amount of code actually being written. And this is quite beneficial as uh, this uh, functional programming paradigm unfolds. So, um, in summary, one of the uh, most favorite quotes I like to quote is uh, functional programming makes programmers better mathematicians and mathematicians better programmers. And this is quite true as you will uh, realize throughout the duration of this course. And in this course we'll look at uh, some of the basic F-sharp conce uh, concepts. Um, some you may have come across in other languages, some are unique to F-sharp. So this course really is for uh, users at any level. But feel free to skip on if you've uh, tackled similar uh, items before within the course. 
Uh, F Sharp introduces new things such as the F Sharp interactive window, light syntax. Uh, we're looking, going to look at tuples, sequences, modules and records, discriminated unions and pattern matching, which is uh, quite a nice feature of F Sharp. Uh, forward pipe operator, recursion and functions, and uh, all of the basics of other languages um, and how differently F Sharp represents these. So this is a main introduction to F Sharp, what it can offer us and what we're going to cover throughout the duration of this F Sharp training course. So I'm uh, Sean Greasley, thank you for listening and uh, stay tuned for the rest of the course.